Ayodhya, listen, IAST Ayodhya is a city located in Ayodhya district of Uttar Pradesh, India. It is identified with the legendary city of Ayodhya, and as such, is the birthplace of Rama and setting of the epic Ramayana. The accuracy of this identification is central to the Ayodhya dispute. Modern scholars variously believe that the present day Ayodhya is the same as the legendary Ayodhya, or that the legendary city is a mythical place that came to be identified with the present day Ayodhya only during the Gupta period around the 4th 5th century CE. The present day city is identified as the location of Sakita, which was an important city of the Kosala Mahajanapada in the 1st millennium BCE, and later served as its capital. The early Buddhist and Jain canonical texts mention that the religious leaders Gautama Buddha and Mahavira visited and lived in the city. The later Jain texts also describe as it the birthplace of five Tirthankaras, and associate it with the legendary Chakravartins. From the Gupta period onwards, several sources mention Ayodhya and Sakita as the name of the same city. Owing to the belief as the birthplace of Rama, Ayodhya has been regarded as one of the seven most important pilgrimage sites for Hindus. It is believed that the birth spot of Rama was marked by a temple, which is said to have been demolished by the orders of the Mughal emperor Babur and a mosque erected in its place. The Ayodhya dispute concerns the activism by the Hindu groups to rebuild a Rama's temple at the site. Etymology and names The word, Ayodhya, is a regularly formed derivation of the Sanskrit verb yudh, to fight, to wage war. Yodhya is the future passive participle, meaning, to be fought. The initial a is the negative prefix, the whole therefore means, not to be fought, or, more idiomatically in English, invincible. This meaning is attested by the Atharvaveda, which uses it to refer to the unconquerable city of gods. The 9th century Jain poem Adi Purana also states that Ayodhya does not exist by name alone but by the merit of being unconquerable by enemies. Satyapakhyana interprets the word slightly differently, stating that it means that which cannot be conquered by sins instead of enemies. Sakita is the older name for the city, attested in Buddhist, Jain, Sanskrit, Greek and Chinese sources. According to Vaman Shivram Apte, the word, Sakita, is derived from the Sanskrit word Saha with and Akitan houses or buildings. The Adi Purana states that Ayodhya is called Sakita, because of its magnificent buildings which had significant banners as their arms. According to Hans T. Bakker, the word may be derived from the roots Sa and Kitu. With banner. The variant name Saketu is attested in the Vishnu Purana. Ayodhya was stated to be the capital of the ancient Kosala kingdom in the Ramayana. Hence it was also referred to as Kosala. The Adi Purana states that Ayodhya is famous as Su Kosala because of its prosperity and good skill. The cities of Ayutthaya, Thailand, and Yogyakarta, Indonesia, are named after Ayodhya. History The earliest of the Buddhist Pali language texts and the Jain Prakrit language texts mention a city called Sakita as an important city of the Kosala Mahajanapada. Topographical indications in both Buddhist and Jain texts suggest that Sakita is same as the present-day Ayodhya. For example, according to the Samyutta Nikaya and the Vinaya Pitaka, Sakita was located at a distance of six yojanas from Srivasti. The Vinaya Pitaka menatons that a big river was located between the two cities, and the Sutta Nipata mentions Sakita as the first halting place on the southward road from Srivasti to Pratishthana. Ancient Sanskrit language epics, such as the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, mention a legendary city called Ayodhya, which was the capital of the legendary Ikshvaku kings of Kosala, including Rama. Neither these texts, nor the earlier Sanskrit texts such as the Vedas, mention a city called Sakita. Non-religious, non-legendary ancient Sanskrit texts, such as Panini's Ashtadayi and Patanjali's commentary on it, do mention Sakita. The later Buddhist text Mahavasta describes Sakita as the seat of the Ikshvaku king Sujata, whose descendants established the Shakya capital Kapilavasta. Fourth century onwards, multiple texts, including Kalidasa's Raghuvamsha, mention Ayodhya as another name for Sakita. 
The later Jain canonical text Jambudvipa Panati describes a city called Vinaya or Vinita as the birthplace of Lord Rishabhanatha, and associates this city with Bharata Chakravartin. The Kalpa Sutra describes Ikhagapum as the birthplace of Rishabhadev. The index on the Jain text Paumacharya clarifies that Aojjha, Ayodhya, Kosala Puri, Kosala city, Vinaya, and Sayya are synonyms. The post canonical Jain texts also mention Aojjha. For example, the Avasagakarni describes it as the principal city of Kosala, while the Avasajanajuti names it as the capital of Sagara Chakravartin. The Avasajanajuti implies that that Vinaya, Vinaya Kasalapuri, Kasalapura, and Ikhagapum were distinct cities, naming them as the capitals of Abhinamdana, Sumai, and Usaba respectively. Abhyadeva's commentary on the Tana Sutta, another post canonical text, identifies Sakita, Ayodhya, and Vinita as one city. According to one theory, the legendary Ayodhya city is same as the historical city of Sakita and the present day Ayodhya. According to another theory, the legendary Ayodhya is a mythical city, and the name, Ayodhya, came to be used for the Sakita present day Ayodhya only around the 4th century, when a Gupta emperor probably Skandagupta moved his capital to Sakita, and renamed it to Ayodhya after the legendary city. Alternative, but less likely, theories state that Sakita and Ayodhya were two adjoining cities, or that Ayodhya was a locality within the Sakita city. As Sakita Archaeological and literary evidence suggests that the site of present-day Ayodhya had developed into an urban settlement by the 5th or 6th century BCE. The site is identified as the location of the ancient Sakita city, which probably emerged as a marketplace located at the junction of the two important roads, the Shravasti Pradishthana North-South Road, and the Rajagriya Varanasi Shravasti Taxila East-West Road. Ancient Buddhist texts, such as Samyutta Nikaya, state that Sakita was located in the Kosala kingdom ruled by Prasenajit or Pasenadi, c. 6th-5th century BCE, whose capital was located at Srivasti. The later Buddhist commentary Dhammapada Atthakatha states that the Sakita town was established by merchant Dhanajaya the father of Izaka, on the suggestion of King Prasenajit. The Diga Nikaya describes it as one of the six large cities of India. The early Buddhist canonical texts mention Shravasti as the capital of Kosala, but the later texts, such as the Jain texts Nayadamakahau and Panavana Suttam, and the Buddhist Jatakas, mention Sakita as the capital of Kosala. As a busy town frequented by travelers, it appears to have become important for preachers such as Gautama Buddha and Mahavira. The Samyutta Nikaya and Angatara Nikaya mention that Buddha resided at Sakita at times. The early Jain canonical texts such as Antagata Dasau, Anatarovavaya Dasau, and Vivagasua state that Mahavira visited Sakita. Nayadamakahau states that Parshvanatha also visited Sakita. The Jain texts, both canonical and post-canonical, describe Ayodhya as the location of various shrines, such as those of Snake, Yaksha Pasamiya, Muni Suvratasvaman, and Sarapiya. It is not clear what happened to Sakita after Kosala was conquered by the Magadha emperor Ajatashatru around 5th century BCE. There is lack of historical sources about the city's situation for the next few centuries. It is possible that he city remained a commercial center of secondary importance, but did not grow into a political center of Magadha, whose capital was located at Pataliputra. Several Buddhist buildings may have been constructed in the town during the rule of the Maurya Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BCE. These buildings were probably located on the present-day man-made mounds in Ayodhya. Excavations at Ayodhya have resulted in the discovery of a large brick wall, identified as a fortification wall by archaeologist B.B. Lal. This wall probably erected in the last quarter of the 3rd century BCE. After the decline of the Maurya Empire, Sakita appears to have come under the rule of Pushyamitra Shunga. The 1st century BCE inscription of Dhanadeva suggests that he appointed a governor there. The Yuga Purana mentions Sakita as the residence of a governor, and describes it as being attacked by a combined force of Greeks, Maturas, and Panchalas. Patanjali's commentary on Panini also refers to the Greek siege of Sakita. Later, Sakita appears to have become part of a small, independent kingdom. The Yuga Purana states that Sakita was ruled by seven powerful kings after the retreat of the Greeks. The Vayu Purana and the Brahmanda Purana also state that seven powerful kings ruled in the capital of Kosala. 
The historicity of these kings is attested by the discovery of the coins of the Deva dynasty kings, including Donadeva, whose inscription describes him as the king of Kosala As the capital of Kosala, Sakita probably eclipsed Srivasti in importance during this period. The east-west route connecting Pataliputra to Taxila, which earlier passed through Sakita and Srivasti, appears to have shifted southwards during this period, now passing through Sakita, Ahichatra and Kanyakaba. After the Deva kings, Sakita appears to have been ruled by the Datta, Kushan, and Mitra kings, although the chronological order of their rule is uncertain. Bakar theorizes that the Dattas succeeded the Deva kings in the mid-1st century CE, and their kingdom was annexed to the Kushan Empire by Kanishka. The Tibetan text Annals of Li Country c. 11th century mentions that an alliance of King Vijayakirti of Khotan, King Kanika, the King of Gu Zan, and the King of Li, marched to India and captured the So Ked city. During this invasion, Vijayakirti took several Buddhist relics from Sakita, and placed them in the stupa of Phru No. If Kanika is identified as Kanishka, and so Ket as Sakita, it appears that the invasion of Kushans and their allies led to the destruction of the Buddhist sites at Sakita. Nevertheless, Sakita appears to have remained a prosperous town during the Kushan rule. The second century geographer Ptolemy mentions a metropolis, Sageta, or Sagoda, which has been identified with Sakita. The earliest inscription that mentions Sakita as a place name is dated to the late Kushan period. It was found on the pedestal of a Buddha image in Srivasti, and records the gift of the image by Siadeva of Sakita. Before or after the Kushans, Sakita appears to have been ruled by a dynasty of kings whose names end in Mitra, and whose coins have been found at Ayodhya. They may have been members of a local dynasty that was distinct from the Mitra dynasty of Mathura. These kings are attested only by their coinage, Sangha Mitra, Vijaya Mitra, Satya Mitra, Deva Mitra, and Arya Mitra. Coins of Kumuda Sena and Asia Varman have also been discovered. <laughs> Gupta period Around the 4th century, the region came under the control of the Guptas, who revived Brahmanism. The Vayu Purana and the Brahmanda Purana attest that the early Gupta kings ruled Sakita. No Gupta-era archaeological layers have been discovered in present-day Ayodhya, although a large number of Gupta coins have been discovered here. It is possible that during the Gupta period, the habitations in the city were located in the areas that have not yet been excavated. The Buddhist sites that had suffered destruction during the Khotanese Kushan invasion appear to have remained deserted. The 5th century Chinese traveler Faxian states that the ruins of Buddhist buildings existed at Sha Kai during his time. One theory identifies Sha Kai with Sakita, although this identification is not undisputed. If Sha Kai is indeed Sakita, it appears that by the 5th century, the town no longer had a flourishing Buddhist community or any important Buddhist building that was still in use. An important development during the Gupta time was the recognition of Sakita as the legendary city of Ayodhya, the capital of the Ikshvaku dynasty. The 436 CE Karamdanda inscription, issued during the reign of Kumaragupta I, names Ayodhya as the capital of the Kosala province, and records Commander Pritvisena's offerings to Brahmins from Ayodhya. Later, the capital of the Gupta Empire was moved from Pataliputra to Ayodhya. Paramartha states that King Vikramaditya moved the royal court to Ayodhya. Xuanzang also corroborates this, stating that this king moved the court to the country of Srivasti, that is, Kosala. A local oral tradition of Ayodhya, first recorded in writing by Robert Montgomery Martin in 1838, mentions that the city was deserted after the death of Rama's descendant Brihadbala. The city remained deserted until King Vikrama of Ujjain came searching for it, and re-established it. He cut down the forests that had covered the ancient ruins, erected the Ramgar fort, and built 360 temples. Vikramditya was a title of multiple Gupta kings, and the king who moved the capital to Ayodhya is identified as Skandagupta. Bakar theorizes that the move to Ayodhya may have been prompted by a flooding of the river Ganges at Pataliputra, the need to check the Huna advance from the west, and Skandagupta's desire to compare himself with Rama, whose Ikshvaku dynasty is associated with the legendary Ayodhya. According to Paramaratha's life of Vasubandhu, Vikramaditya was a patron of scholars, and awarded 300,000 pieces of gold to Vasubandhu. The text states that Vasubandhu was a native of Sakita. And describes Vikramaditya as the king of Ayodhya. Ayu ya. 
This wealth was used to build three monasteries in the country of Ayuya Ayodhya. Paramartha further states that the later king Baladitya identified with Narasimhagupta and his mother also awarded large sums of gold to Vasubandhu, and these funds were used to build another Buddhist temple at Ayodhya. These structures may have been seen by the 7th century Chinese traveller Xuanzang, who describes a stupa and a monastery at Ayodhya. O -u -t -o. <laughs> Decline as a political centre Ayodhya probably suffered when the Hunas led by Mahirakula invaded the Gupta Empire in the 6th century. After the fall of the Guptas, it may have been ruled by the Maokari dynasty, whose coins have been found in the nearby areas. It was not devastated, as the 7th century Chinese traveller Xuanzang describes it as a flourishing town and a Buddhist center. However, it had lost its position as an important political center to Kanyakaba at the time of Xuanzang's visit, it was a part of Harsha's empire, and was probably the seat of a vassal or an administrative officer. Xuanzang states that the city measured about 0.6 km in circumference. Another 7th century source, Kasikavirti, mentions that the town was surrounded by a moat similar to that around Pataliputra. After the fall of Harsha's empire, Ayodhya appears to have been variously controlled by local kings and the rulers of Kanauj, including Yashovarman and the Gurhara Pratiharas. The town is not mentioned in any surviving texts or inscriptions composed during 650-1050 CE, although it may be identified with the city of Harishchandra. Mentioned in the 8th century poem Godavaho. Archaeological evidence including images to Vishnu, Jain Tirthankaras, Ganesha, the Seven Matrikas, and a Buddhist stupa suggests that the religious activity in the area continued during this period. <laughs> Early medieval period According to Indologist Hans T. Bakker, the only religious significance of Ayodhya in the first millennium CE was related to the Gopratara Tirtha now called Guptar Ghat, where Rama and his followers are said to have ascended to heaven by entering the waters of Sarayu. In the 11th century, the Gahadavala dynasty came to power in the region, and promoted Vaishnavism. They built several Vishnu temples in Ayodhya, five of which survived till the end of Aurangzeb's reign. Hans Bakker concludes that there might have been a temple at the supposed birth spot of Rama built by the Gahadavalas see Vishnu Hari inscription. In subsequent years, the cult of Rama developed within Vaishnavism, with Rama being regarded as the foremost avatar of Vishnu. Consequently, Ayodhya's importance as a pilgrimage center grew. In 1226 CE, Ayodhya became the capital of the province of Awa or o -U -D -H, within the Delhi Sultanate. Muslim historians state that the area was little more than wilderness prior to this. Pilgrimage was tolerated, but the tax on pilgrims ensured that the temples did not receive much income. <laughs> Mughal and British period Under Mughal rule, the Babri Mosque was constructed in Ayodhya. The city was the capital of the province of Awa, which is also believed to be a variant of the name, Ayodhya. During the British Raj the city was known as Ayodhya or Ayodhya and was part of the United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. It was also the seat of a small Talakdari state. After the death of Aurangzeb in 1707 CE, the central Muslim rule weakened, and Awa became virtually independent, with Ayodhya as its capital. However, the rulers became increasingly dependent on the local Hindu nobles, and control over the temples and pilgrimage centers was relaxed. Sadat Ali Khan, Nawab of Awa, bestowed the Riyasat principality of Ayodhya on his loyal Brahmin soldier Dwideo Mishra of the Kasyapa Gotra, for quelling revenue rebels in Mahendana in eastern Up. Ayodhya was annexed in 1856 by the British rulers. The rulers of Awa were Shia, and the Sunni groups had already protested against the permissive attitude of the former government. The British intervened and crushed the Sunni resistance. In 1857, the British annexed Oudh Awa and subsequently reorganized it into the United Provinces of Agra and Oudh. In the 1850s, a group of Hindus attacked the Babri Mosque, on the grounds that it was built over the birthplace of the Hindu deity Rama. To prevent further disputes, the British administrators divided the mosque premises between Hindus and Muslims. Independent India 
A movement was launched in 1984 by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad Party to reclaim the Babri Mosque site for a Rama temple. In 1992, a right-wing Hindu nationalist rally progressed into a riot, leading to the demolition of the Babri Mosque. Now, there is a makeshift mandir at Ram Janmabhumi with a Ram Lala, representing Rama as a child, smiling over a blooming lotus. Under Indian government no one was permitted near the site for 200 yards, and the gate was locked to the outside. Hindu pilgrims, however, began entering through a side door to offer puja. In 2003, the Archaeological Survey of India carried out an excavation at the mosque site to determine if it was built over the ruins of a temple. The excavation uncovered a variety of objects, including a 12-foot statue of Lord Hanuman and coins dating to early historic times and other historic objects. The Asi concluded that an ancient temple had been demolished or modified to create the Babri Mosque under Babur. Besides Hindus, the Buddhist and Jain representatives claimed that their temples existed at the excavated site. On the 5th of July 2005, five terrorists attacked the site of the makeshift Ramlala Temple in Ayodhya. All five were killed in the ensuing gunfight with security forces, and one civilian died in the bomb blast triggered as they attempted to breach the cordon wall. On 30 September 2010, the Lucknow bench of the Allahabad High Court ruled that one-third of the disputed land should be given to the Sunni Muslim Central Board of Waqs, one-third to the Nirmohi Akara and one-third to the Hindu party for the shrine of Ram Lala, Infant Rama. The court further ruled that the area where the idols of Ram are present be given to Hindus in the final decree, while the rest of the land shall be divided equally by meets and bounds among the three parties. Some South Koreans have identified the Ayuta mentioned in their ancient Samgungnusa legend with Ayodhya. According to this legend, the ancient Korean princess Heo Wang Ok came from Ayuta. In the 2000s, the local government of Ayodhya and South Korea acknowledged the connection and held a ceremony to raise a statue of the princess. <laughs> Demographics As of the 2001 India census, Ayodhya had a population of 49,593. Males constitute 59% of the population and females 41%. Ayodhya has an average literacy rate of 65%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, with 72% of the males and 62% of females literate. 12% of the population is under 6 years of age. Topic. Geography and climate Ayodhya has a humid subtropical climate, typical of central India. Summers are long, dry and hot, lasting from late March to mid-June, with average daily temperatures near 32 degrees Celsius 90 degrees Fahrenheit. They are followed by the monsoon season which lasts till October, with annual precipitation of approximately 1,067 mm in and average temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. Winter starts in early November and lasts till the end of January, followed by a short spring in February and early March. Average temperatures are mild, near 16 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, but nights can be colder. Places of interest Ayodhya is an important place of pilgrimage for the Hindus. A verse in the Brahmanda Purana names Ayodhya among the most sacred and foremost cities, the others being Mathura, Haridvara, Kashi, Kanshi and Avantika. This verse is also found in the other Puranas with slight variations. In Garuda Purana, Ayodhya is said to be one of seven holiest places for Hindus in India, with Varanasi being the most sacrosanct. Hanuman Gari Fort Hanuman Gari, a massive four-sided fort with circular bastions at each corner and a temple of Hanuman inside, is the most popular shrine in Ayodhya. Situated in the center of town, it is approachable by a flight of 76 steps. Its legend is that Hanuman lived here in a cave and guarded the Janambumi, or Ramkot. The main temple contains the statue of Ma Anjani with Bal Hanuman seated on her lap. The faithful believe wishes are granted with a visit to the shrine. 
Kanak Bhawan is a temple said to have been given to Sita and Rama by Rama's stepmother Kaiki as a wedding gift, and only contains statues of Sita with her husband. Ramkot Ramkot is the main place of worship in Ayodhya, and the site of the ancient citadel of its namesake, standing on elevated ground in the western city. Although visited by pilgrims throughout the year, it attracts devotees from all over the world on Ram Navami, the day of the birth of Rama. Ram Navami is celebrated with great pomp in the Hindu month of Kshetra, which falls between March and April. SWARGDWAR is believed to be the site of cremation of Rama. Mani Parbat and Sugrav Parbat are ancient earth mounds, the first identified by a stupa built by the Emperor Ashoka, and the second is an ancient monastery. Treta K. Thakur is a temple standing at the site of the Ashvada Yajnya of Rama. Three centuries prior, the Raja of Kulu built a new temple here, which was improved by Ahalyabe Holkar of Indore in 1784, the same time the adjacent ghats were built. The initial idols in black sandstone were recovered from Sarayu and placed in the new temple, which was known as Kaliram Ka Mandir. Chahoti Devkali Mandir is the temple of goddess Ashani, or Durga, Kuldevi of Sita. <laughs> Nageshwarnath Temple The temple of Nageshwarnath was established by Kush, son of Rama. Legend has it that Kush lost his armlet while bathing in the Sarayu, and it was retrieved by a Nag Kanya who fell in love with him. As she was a devotee of Shiva, Kush built her this temple. It was the only temple to survive when Ayodhya was abandoned until the time of Vikramaditya. While the rest of city was in ruin and covered by dense forest, this temple allowed Vikramaditya to recognize the city. The festival of Shivratri is celebrated here with great splendor. Chakravarti Maharaj Dashrath Mahal Chakravarti Maharaj Dashrath Mahal, known as Bada Asthan and Badi Jaga, is at Ramkot Ayodhya Faizabad Uttar Pradesh. It opened for public from 8 am to 12 noon and 4 pm to 10 pm, every day. Ram Viva, Deepawali, Shravan Mela, Kshetra Ramnavami, and Kartik Mela are special occasions when number of devotees increases manifold. Dotted with so many religious places and shrines, in Ayodhya is a venerated place that has been revered by all, fraction of Hindu religious. This holy place is associated with Lord Ram, the hero of the great epic Ramayana. All the places in Ayodhya is somehow related to this legendary ruler who is regarded as an icon of virtue, truth and devotion. Chakravarti Maharaja Dasrath Mahal is not an exception to this common phenomenon. It is where Maharaja Dasharatha is believed to reside with his kith and kin. Now the place houses a temple, which depicts Ram, Sita, Lakshmana, Bharat and Shatrugan as the chief deities. The environment there, provides such serene and tranquil feeling that a devotee would be able to sense the presence of Lord Ram. Other places of interest Darbarji Durgakali Temple Angad Tila Sri Rama Janaki Birla Temple Tulsi Smarak Bhawan Ram Ki Paiti Kalaramji Ka Mandir Datuvan Kund Janki Mahal Gurudwara Brahma Kund Rishabadiyo Jain Temple Brahma Kund Amawan Temple Tulsi Chaura Laxman Kula Ram Katha Museum Valmiki Ramayan Bhawan Mandir Sundar Sadan in front of controversial site Kalharishwar Mahadev Temple at Darbarji Durgakali Topic <laughs> <laughs> Memorial of HEO Wang OK The legendary princess Heo Wang Ok, who married King Suro of Jiamgwan Gaya of Korea, is believed by some to be a native of Ayodhya. In 2001, a memorial of Heo Wang Ok was inaugurated by a Korean delegation, which included over a hundred historians and government representatives. In 2016, a Korean delegation proposed to develop the memorial. 
The proposal was accepted by the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav. This ancient cultural relationship was initiated in 1997 when a South Korean delegation headed by B. M. Kim, a descendant of King Suro, visited Ayodhya and informed Raja Bimlendra Mohan Mishra, scion of Ayodhya's royal family, about the connection. Mishra says, When we came to know of the Korean connection, it was a big surprise for us. The memorial to Queen Heo in Ayodhya is a major pilgrim center for Koreans. An invitation has been extended to the Ayodhya Raja Mishra to visit Korea and ties between the two cities strengthened, with a 200 crore rupees Korean grant for Ayodhya. <laughs> Sister cities Gimhai, South Korea the mayors of Ayodhya and Gimhai signed a sister city bond in March 2001, based on Ayodhya's identification as the birthplace of the legendary Queen Heo Wang Ok. Janakpur, Nepal Ayodhya and Janakpur became sister cities in November 2014. <laughs> Accessibility To reach Ayodhya, the nearest airports are Faizabad, 5 km away, Amausi in Lucknow, 134 km away, Allahabad, 166 km away. The city is on the broad gauge northern railway line on Mughal Sarai on the Lucknow main route with Ayodhya and Faizabad railway stations. Ayodhya is connected by road to several major cities and towns, including Lucknow 134 km, Gorakhpur 132 km, Jhansi 441 km, Allahabad 166 km, Srivasti 109 km, Varanasi 209 km, and Gonda 51 km. A direct bus service has been started between Ayodhya and Janakpur birthplace of Sita, in Nepal as a part of Ramayana circuit. One. Topic. See also. Saket. Hanamingari.